Hey, what's up my fellow Reavers, Fragbox TV, and I want to talk to you again, because I can't stop saying enough good things, about this Nero 3. So before we get into it, I'm just going to give you a quick little update. This is the Reefer Red Sea Reefer 170 that we have here in the store. It's being taken care of by Matt that works here and it is an SPS dominated tank. And the reason for the video, we had this crazy dead spot. It was always build, uh, we had detritus building up over here in this back corner. Still building up a little bit. We may need to play with the power heads a bit, but we went ahead and added a second Miro pump. So this is a 35 gallon Reefer 170. We were using the Nero 5 up here in the top and it is SPS dominated so these kind of corals like a lot a lot of flow. Just a um, quick sidetrack for the video that's a Hydra 32 HD that we're running on it. So we decided to add a second Nero 3 over here in the back corner and I just set it up and I just can't believe how easy it is to use that pump to connect it to the app uh, we did a review video on the Nero 5. The Nero 3 is its smaller cousin, so I'm just going to run you through some of the reasons why this is personally, hands down, my favorite wave maker on the market today. Okay, so I'm going to start with the size. Um, it's the smaller brother to the Nero 5, but it's small. It's modern, it's sleek, it's black, it blends in nicely into the background of the tank. You can barely see them here. Like it, You can really, really... I think enjoy a reef tank and it doesn't take away from any of the aesthetics so in terms of size it's really compact so I really like that and the wire that they give you I know it's a weird thing to talk about but I'm in love with this wire let me show you why two reasons one it's super long which is unusual and you don't realize that you need a long wire until you get one like this because you can't really extend it past the controller so if you want to mount this they give you tons of tons of wire usually you get four to six feet with, with anything that you buy electronic. This is like 10, 11 feet, so it's really long and it gives you a lot of options for placement of the controller. And the second thing is it's really skinny. It's a really fine wire. So that means you can hide it. Like you can't really see it unless you know what you're looking for. You're trying to see the wire. It's very, very discreet. So it doesn't take away from the lines of the tank. You can keep a nice, clean, unobstructed, view of your aquarium. So with the new Nero 5s and the Nero 3s, they include this pretty cool contraption here. This is a uh, fish guard. So it goes on the back because with some of the early ones, they realize some of the smaller fish, unfortunately, were actually getting sucked up in through these little gills here on the back of the pump. So that's just a nice new feature that comes with these pumps. You don't have to worry anymore about your fish getting sucked up and being turned into sashimi. Now we can do unboxing and review videos on products all day. Um, you know, price is really, really important. So these guys, I think it's a very fair price. It's not a cheap pump. So here in Canada, it retails for 209. One weird thing they did last year, they actually had a price drop, which is unusual um, because in this hobby or in any hobby or things in general, prices just tend to naturally go up over time. These guys went the other way. So the price dropped from 240, I think, to 209. Canadian. I think it retails in the States. Um, let me check really quick. $149 US. I know a lot of our viewers are in, in the United States. I don't know where you're watching this in the world, but for what you're getting, that price is really fair. It's not cheap, but you're getting an amazing pump for that price. Reliability. It's pretty new on the market, but if it's anything like the Nero 5, it's going to be crazy reliable. So in terms of power, the pump is putting out 2,000 gallons per hour. I would use this pump, I would say, up to 50 gallons for the Nero 3. Once you go bigger than that, then you start to get into the Nero 5 territory, which is good for, I would say, up to about 100 gallons. You could, like, we're running two on our display tank here in the store. I think this thing works out to about 80 gallons, and I can tell you two Nero 5s on this thing. It just nailed it. The flow was perfect. I wouldn't add any, any more than that. And we're keeping lots of hard coral, which are typically very demanding when it comes to flow in the aquarium. Finally, though, the best part about this pump, I could literally talk about these things all day, but the best part is the app. There's not, a, there's not an easier pump on the market to connect. It's so seamless. It's so easy. You could give your smart device to a child and they'll figure out how to connect this thing. It's super, super, super simple. If you're not tech savvy, 
it, they've made it very user friendly and if you are, you're gonna find it a breeze. It connects to your iPad, to your smartphone, Samsung, whatever you're using. And then from there, the amount of control you have over the pump is uh, mind boggling. Like you, literally limitless amounts of control uh, we use ours on the random setting, so they ramp up and down between 20 and 60% on high variance. We've done other videos to show how to program the Nero 5, go back uh, and watch those ones if you want to see how good the app is. But I think that's one of the best parts about this pump is just how easy it is to connect and use and how much control you can do. Uh, it's limitless what you can do with them. You can program every single minute of the day to do something else. It's almost too much control. It's crazy. But I'm really, really in love with the pumps. This tank's looking awesome. I think it's the end of the video, but I'm gonna just give you a quick run through. Um, this tank here, we have it SPS dominated. So we got some nice Montes growing over here to the left and these cool, tabling yellow acropora i don't know what the species name is i'm not even going to try and guess there's another one here some green some red so matt is a minimalist so there's not too many corals in here but he's picked kind of corals based on color so you see he went purple red yellow green purpley red and then to blue and some more blue up here but it's kind of designed to have different colors and shapes so i guess this side here is all kind of tabling up to the top and then on the top you got these stag horns valida and i think that's a spatulata there was a nice abratinoides sorry if you don't understand the names i'm throwing out there these are latin names of the acros over on this rock here we have a nice miyagi tort which is complemented by this green goblin and acropora maybe we should just do a whole update because the tank's just rocking right now it's really simple and clean i th i would take this off to be honest on the back wall it's kind of cool i guess but I think it takes away from the tank. I think it would look, am I right? I don't know, comment below. Would you take this off right here? Eh, maybe I should just take it off and not tell them. Anyways, I get sidetracked. That's what I do in most of my videos. This is supposed to be about a Nero 3. That's the end of this video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, you wanna talk reef tanks, maybe you need help picking the correct size power head or wave maker for your tank. You can hit us up. I'll leave our contact info at the end of this video. This is Fragbox TV and thank you very much for watching. Ha, uh, tricked you, wasn't the end of the video. We like to do giveaways here on the channel. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But we asked you in one of the last videos to help us name one of the fish in our tanks. And we've gone with this one. I really like this name right here. So the name is gonna be Sushi and Hamsters Reef. What up, when we get them in next week, come by and you can pick up your free neon goby on the house, courtesy of Fragbox TV. Thanks guys. Yeah, comment, when we're giving stuff away, you can win stuff. Subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching.